Watford away, Arsenal away and Manchester City at home. These three games that Manchester United are currently in the middle of are really going to test whether or not Man United have a genuine chance of winning the Premier League title this year. Man City running away with it. United cannot afford to drop points. And with City at home to West Ham this weekend, Man United have got to go and win at the Emirates. Now, last year, the Emirates wasn't a good place for United. We lost, but Jose Mourinho effectively gave up on that game before the first whistle was even blown. Because Man United were in the Europa League, uh, I think it was semi-final at this stage. Uh, we played weakened teams against Arsenal and Spurs, lost both of them, but United were vindicated. Mourinho was vindicated because we won the Europa League. So I don't expect United to have the same level of performance going into this game. And coming off the back of a fantastic 4-2 win against Watford. Fantastic in one sense, we won 4-2 away. A very inform and tough Watford side, managed by one of the best managers in the league at the moment, Marco Silva. On the other hand, we were 3-0 up. We'd let it slip to 3-2, and it took Jesse Lingard's wonder goal at the end to make it a comfortable win for United. So you saw Jekyll and Hyde. United cannot be that complacent at 3-0. They need to see games out comfortably. 3 nils should be turning into 5 nils, not 3-2-4-2s. As for Arsenal going into this game, weirdly enough, in the last five fixtures, Man United have won, won, won the first game, lost the second game, and won the three going into this. The exact same record. Man United, we lost 1-0 away to Chelsea. Arsenal, they lost 3-1 away to City. But in that time, they've beaten Tottenham Hotspur, one of their biggest games of the year, a comfortable win at home. And their last fixture on Wednesday night, they beat Huddersfield 5-0 at home. Meza Ozil getting two assists and a goal in a short five-minute period. He is bang in form. Arsenal are certainly in form at the moment. And going into the game, you'd have to say that both sets of fans are going to be confident of trying to get a result from this match. But one thing United absolutely have to do, we need to improve our results against top six teams away from home. As you can see from this little graphic here, United have been awful away from home against the top six. Losing to Arsenal last year, losing to Chelsea last year, losing to Spurs last year, getting a draw away at City, getting a draw away at Liverpool. This year we've lost the way to Chelsea. We need to turn these big games around away from home. This is very much obviously down to Jose Mourinho's style and tactics in these games. He always sees these matches as don't lose away to your big top rivals, beat them at home and win the other games and you should be all right. But Man United away from home against the top six, as I said, we've been woeful. We need to improve that record. And that hopefully will start against Arsenal on Saturday at the Emirates. They're, they're definitely in form, but after that 4-2 win, United should definitely be at least a little bit confident of getting a win at the Emirates. Going into the game, team news-wise, there are concerns over Nemanja Matic, who was withdrawn against Watford. Hopefully that was nothing more than precautionary because I don't think we can replace Nemanja Matic in that team. We need him to boss the midfield against Arsenal. Arsenal, if you can let them control the midfield, they will invariably control the game and control possession. We can't let that happen. Phil Jones and Eric Bailly still unsure of whether they're going to be fit or not. But Rojo, Smalling and Lindelof on the majority were very good against Watford. Lindelof in particular. Smalling actually was very, very good too. Rojo had the moment of madness giving away the penalty. But I expect United to set up in a three at the back again. So I expect all three of them to start against uh, Arsenal. In terms of Arsenal's team news, Lacazette, it looks like he is going to be out with a groin injury. Arsene Wenger speaking after the Huddersfield game said it looked like he could be out for some time. Maybe that means Danny Welbeck's going to start against United. Don't know what that means, whether it's a good or a bad thing, but Lacazette being out, surely that has to be down as a good thing. As for my predicted 11 for the game, here is who I think is going to start. De Gea is going to be in goal. I think it's going to be a back three of Lindelof, Rojo and Smalling with Ashley Lionel Messi young at left back after his two goals against Watford he'll be buzzing and we need to have a good left back performance so that they can support whoever is in attack if we don't United will be camped in our own half maybe we will be anyway Antonio Valencia is going to play right back I'm putting Pogba and Matic in as a midfield two fingers crossed that Matic will be fit and I'm definitely going to keep Jesse Lingard in at number 10 especially away at Arsenal where you're going to have to hustle you're going to have to run off the ball pressure Arsenal into making mistakes. That is why I've got Lingard in the team and that is why I've got Rashford in the team ahead of Martial. I think he's going to have better off the ball work rate and I feel that's what Jose Mourinho will want in this game. And Romelu Lukaku, I don't think Mourinho is going to drop him. I had a debate with you guys and girls earlier this week as to whether you felt 
that Lukaku should be dropped. I don't think he will be dropped and fingers crossed he can return to goal scoring ways against Arsenal this weekend. As you all know, United People's TV backed by Labrooks for the season and my bet this week, which you can get a boosted, there's a link in the description, follow that and use our code. It's all the information is down there for you. I think United to win to nil. Because if this game goes exactly how Jose Mourinho will want it to go, United will win this game 1-0. And that's going to be my prediction for the game. I'm going 1-0. Because I trust Jose Mourinho against Arsene Wenger. Yes, we lost last year, but that was a game where mentally we had lost it before we started because Jose Mourinho didn't care about it. His focus was the Europa League. Right now, all the focus is on the Premier League. That is the important thing. With City playing West Ham, it's effectively three points there. United cannot afford to drop more points before the derby next weekend. If we drop more points here, we could be 11 points behind City going into the derby. Meaning even if we beat them in the derby, we're still eight points behind them. And if we lose that game, we're 14 points behind City before the new year. That is a bad place to be. But my prediction is 1-0. I trust in Mourinho and his tactics. United need to do better in these games away against the top six teams. And I really hope that happens against Arsenal on Saturday. Fingers crossed we can win. Let me know if you're feeling confident in the comments below. As always, drop a like on the video, subscribe to United People's TV. We'll see you soon.